Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody be welcome. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome to our third session. This is our session number three. And today is Wednesday, November 15th. This is half of November already. We are almost on Christmas. So good evening, everybody. Say good evening on the chat. Say how you feel, how your day was. You had a difficult day, a hard day, an awesome day, an extraordinary day, a fantastic day, a busy day. Say something on the chat. Say good evening, everybody. Say hello to your colleagues, to your classmates, to your partners. Say something nice on the chat or say how you feel, how you are doing. It's nice to read your messages. It's awesome. Okay. So take this first three minutes to write and describe what your day was like at work, okay? You say, oh, good evening, everybody. I'm happy to see you again. I hope you're fine. Well, my day was difficult, busy, full of activities, okay? Or my day was nice, relaxing, awesome. Or I had a wonderful day. I had a a nice surprise at work, or it was really productive, or it was really, really good. I had really good results. Hi, nice. I see the first message from Gracia. Gracia Corte, <laughs> with the letter Z at the end. Okay, nice. Hi, good evening. I have a nice day. All right, nice. Everybody continue, continue writing on the chat. Say something positive or describe what your day was like. Okay, good evening, good evening. Keep going, keep going. Keep typing, typing on your chat box. Mm -hmm. Describe a little bit about your day. Say hello, say good evening. It's also very valid. Okay, nice. Deborah said, hi, my day was busy, tired, and hard. But happy to stay at home. Okay, nice. <laughs> happy, happy, happy to be at home. Okay, that's great. That's it. at least something really nice that at this time you are home already. That's good. Okay, describe a little bit of your day. Say hello. The main point is to say good evening, to say hello. Okay, nice. Okay, two messages only. We need to have more messages because we are more people on the session. So we need to participate. Wendy, nice. Hi, I had a busy day. Good evening from Jocelyn, everybody. I hope everybody is good today. I had a tired day, but finally I'm at home. Nice. Great. Okay. Keep going. Keep continue participating on the chat. That's great. That gives you more confidence to express and spelling the words correctly. Okay, continue, continue. More messages. I need to see more messages. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Four people only. Okay, Hector said, good evening, everybody. Miguel, I, good evening. I have a relaxing day. Nice, thank God. Uh -huh. Someone else, someone else. More greetings, more messages. Yes. More, more, more. 
Okay, nice. Uh huh. Great from Karen. Good evening. I'm happy and relaxed today. Laura says good evening only. Okay. All right. You can also give a reaction to your colleagues, to your partners. That's also nice. Okay. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good evening, good evening. Elvin says good evening. Had a relaxing day? Okay. My day was relaxed. That's great. Great, great, great. Okay. Paula says good evening, everybody. My day was a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, but you're fine. That's great. Once you get home, you try to calm down and relax. So you feel much better. That's great. All right, good. Good, good, good. Okay, now Brian says good evening. I'm a listener because I'm working so late tonight. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, everybody participating. Yeah, now I have more um more messages now. Yes, good. Much better now, much better. Great. Good, good, good. That's good for you. Because that's a big clap for everybody for making an effort and participating on the chat. Because that's the idea. That's awesome. Well, as an introduction of the lesson for today, we have our session number three. This is Wednesday, November the 15th. One second, here we go. Okay. So as what I was mentioning, yes, our course is English for Work program. This is basic module three. And the day, as I mentioned before, yes, November 15th of 2023. Nice. All right, the usual reminders. Oh yeah, here, let me just change something a little bit. Uh, modify something, I guess I didn't do it on time. So my apologies. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I sometimes lose my mouth. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, here. I guess this is correct. Okay. So let's yeah. go back. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. We were making the reminders, the usual reminders for the sessions to say the whole class, to be the whole class in order to have full attendance. So that's important in the sessions one on one at the end of the session. Okay. Okay. We also have the participation, right? Participation is very, very important. Okay. To have your camera as much as possible on. Okay. To participate on the chat as you did already, to participate in the breakout rooms. And to get your microphone in silence or muted while everybody else is participating or other people are just giving the opinions or anything. All right, so the requirements, this is something that we have to take care of, right? To minimize the, um, let's say the environment sounds or the ambient sounds actually. 
participation at all times, okay, the evaluations and the process, okay, so we have to finish one unit every week and we have to finish the midterm of the exam at the middle of the course after the second week and then we have to finish the final exam at the end of the four weeks, right? And these are the days that we're going to be counting for. So this is the manual that we have we must have that we should have by now and that you have it on the platform so you can download it and print it okay so the objective discuss and write about the reputation the company using the passive voice an interesting topic actually <laughs> discuss and write about the reputation of your company hmm what is that your company is known for. So this is something we're going to be checking. All right. And this is part of the vocabulary we were practicing yesterday. Okay, effective company culture, respect core values. So we were talking about core values yesterday, I remember. And the innovation. So probably something we're going to continue practicing. Of course, we were saying that, okay, um, Noun sometimes uh, or are formed from adjectives. So from punctual, somebody who is punctual practices punctuality. Somebody who is respectful practices respect. Somebody who is solidarious practices solidarity or solidarity. So as you wish to pronounce it. So these are some of the values that a company requires their employees to practice or to put into practice i'm sorry my earphones all right so integrity teamwork positivity commitment respect and excellence yeah i i know well i i work for a couple of company and of course they have their own values but most of the times um integrity teamwork excellence are part of the most common uh, values to be done or to be put into practice. I just want to share something with you before anything else happens. The attendance. Recuerdenme de la attendance cuando se me vayan. <laughs> Please <laughs> remind me. Teaching the attendance. Okay. So let me just get the attendance, please, before anything else happens. Ana Cristina Diaz. ¿Qué le pasó a Ana Cristina? No here. Brian working. <ríe> David Miguel Ángel. Otro que estar working. Por ahí lo veo. David Miguel Ángel. Gone with the wind. Débora Beatriz. Present. Hi. Then we have Doris Elizabeth. No, parece Doris. Elvin Gabriel. Present, Miss. Hi. Gracias, Marisol. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Home. Yes, I'm ah, home. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Hector Manuel. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Imelda Xiomara. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Hello, now you have a microphone. <laughs> nice. Thank okay. you. I hope her connection still works. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am here. Nice. Nice to hear you. You fix the microphone. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ivan Arnoldo. Joanna de la Paz. 
Jocelyn Karina. Present. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Karen Melissa. Hello, present. Hi, good evening. Nice, Karen has a camera now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we have Kevin Edgardo. Not here. Don't know. Okay. Then we have Laura Berenice. Present. Hi, good evening. Maria Irma. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. Miguel Angel Ramirez. Present teacher, Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. So it was you, it was not David. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nelson Alberto. Not here yet. Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Then we have Ricardo Mauricio. Oh, Ricardo is not here yet. Wendy Geraldina. Present Hey, Mr. Richard is here already in Geraldina as well. Thank you. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you? Great. All right. Now, as I was mentioning at the beginning of the class, okay, on your manual, there are some of the examples of values of the companies, right? The most common, I was saying, responsibility, integrity, efficiency, teamwork, excellence, commitment. Pero ustedes sabrán cuáles son los que les, digamos, to company, les pide practicar. So you're going to share a little bit of what those values consist of. Primero tengan listo, a la mano el listado de los values de su company. Y luego, pues compartan con sus partners cómo ustedes los ponen en práctica o cómo creen que esos values se deben poner en práctica, ¿ok? So that's the idea. Yo igual les voy a compartir un screenshot de esta pantalla if you want to use it. But this, this is only as a, as a guy, so como guía, pero ustedes sabrán cuáles son los values de su company en sí. Okay, so let me just make a little bit small groups. Maybe we can make a little bit more. Okay, let's go. Hola. Hola, Jocelyn. Hola. Lo que le entendí, creo a la teacher que teníamos que, que ver los valores de la empresa y cómo los ponemos en práctica, creo, ¿verdad? Sí, los que más nosotros ponemos en práctica. Ahorita. Pero es como oraciones que vamos a hacer. No, yo supongo que nosotros como personas de aquí convivimos diariamente. Pero, o sea, vamos a hacer así una conversación en inglés o cómo? No, o sea, nosotros nos vamos a comentar lo que más practicamos. Por ejemplo, en... Un acope podría ser responsabilidad. Y ya lo vamos a decir. ¿Cómo nosotros lo aplicamos? Bye. Ahorita. En 
en eficiencia. I practice punctuality and respect. I am punctuality and respect. Okay. Y hoy hacemos lo que consideramos que pueden tener una, una compañía, ¿verdad? Ajá, digamos como los cinco valores que debería tener una compañía. Ok, pues por lo menos Hola. Vaya. Eh, ahorita podemos preguntar, teacher. Yes. Lo que vamos a hacer es identificar los, los valores de que practicamos en la empresa. Así dijo, ¿verdad? Exacto. ¿Y cómo se pueden poner en práctica cada uno de esos valores? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, uno de los valores de mi compañía es integrity. How do you practice integrity? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya lo identificaron. Es el loyal, loyal y no sé qué. Loyal. Loyal es lealtad. Eso es, ajá, correcto, eso es, creo yo. Sí, lealtad, ¿eh? Uh -huh. lealtad. La primera, respect, innovation, responsibility. Eh, Eficiency and loyalty. Esos cinco. Uh -huh. Y el que agregaría sería democracy y gender. Gender, eh, no recuerdo cómo era. La equidad de género. Equality, gender equality. Hola. Hola, hola. Bueno, lo que yo dirigiría quizás fuera eh, respect, servicio de help, como servicio al otro. Uh -huh. Y responsibility, eh, efficient, innovation, uh -huh. y lo otro sería solidarity. Y mucho a Okay. Yo los que agregaría serían altruis, empty y los los cinco there my Reports on time. On time. On time. Okay. Y de los otros, pues, no sé cómo, bueno, tendría que ver cómo formularlo así como en inglés. Permitirme. Pero solo son como oraciones que vamos a hacer. Algo sí creo, ¿verdad? Como explicar en qué, en qué sería, ¿verdad? Sí, en qué los, los aplicamos nosotros. Los valores que, lo que tengan. Vaya, voy a continuar haciendo los otros entonces.
pero ah, yes. Ajá. Okay. por ejemplo como yo les decía que en mi caso la responsabilidad la puntualidad es uno de los valores bien importantes porque para nosotros es bien importante llegar temprano al trabajo respetar la hora de entrada respetar los tiempos al igual que la responsabilidad cumplir con el trabajo que se nos asigna en el, en el día y la empatía verdad o sea no trabajar bastante en equipo cuando alguien lo necesite estar y ayudar bueno entonces eso pues yo en inglés más o menos ya lo llevo pero no sé cómo vamos los demás All right, anybody would like to participate talking about the values of his or her companies and expressing a little bit of how to apply? Volunteers, you can raise your hand. Raise your hands. Uh -huh. We have Elvin, we have Deborah, very good. Anybody else? Uh -huh. More participations. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Primero tenemos que decir las dos que practicamos en la empresa, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Actually, it says to me in presentation about the impacts of the core values of your company on the personal, include at least five values. 
Use examples to show how people in your company apply those values. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Punctuality and respect. Punctuality and respect. How do you apply these values of punctuality and respect in the company? Yes. Examples? Hmm? Examples? Uh, punctuality, respect, uh, responsibility, integrity, efficiency. Efficiency. Ajá. Yes. Pero algún ejemplo de cómo se aplica el respeto, la puntualidad y todo eso mm -hmm. en inglés. En inglés. We need to practice a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> punctuality. How do you apply the value of punctuality? Being on time, they start on time. Yes, arrive on time after lunch, right? That's how you apply punctuality. Or if you need to present a report, you present it on time. All right. Uh, Deborah. Uh, Apparently, uh -huh, Deborah has some issues with her microphone. Let's get you a muy bien, Deborah. Something happens with your microphone. Any más? In lo que Deborah fixes her problem with the microphone? Somebody else? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Vamos a aplicar los values acá también. Ah. Teacher, responsibility, yes. Eh, hello, teacher. Um, hey. eh, serían, disculpe, serían dos values eh, y del uno tomar un ejemplo. O de los dos, si usted quiere. Ok, uh -huh. de acuerdo. Um, the values um, um, sorry, um, de punctually. Um, uh -huh. sí, the values in the world, the practice uh, punctually because it's important from the formal on the work activity. Uh -huh. um, um, sorry, um, uh, responsibility. Responsibility. Uh, uh -huh. um, because uh, the practice um, is important um, of um, for less activities, verdad, eh, de today, eh, every day. Every day and everybody okay. has to be responsible yes. for the activities in the company, exactly. Yeah. Nice, very good. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? No sé si logramos escuchar. Sí, le logramos escuchar, solo que un poco lejos, Deborah. No sé qué pasa con tu micrófono, pero si quieren entenderlo. Ok. Yes. Uh, the values in my company are punctuality. Uh, we practice arrive early to the work. Uh, number two, responsa responsibility. Uh, in my case, uh, do the job assigned on day. And last but not least, Empathy, okay. uh, always in my case, help to other co-worker when someone need help or have another situation. Nice, very good. Yes, this world needs a lot of empathy because sometimes we just don't care about others. And obviously if you show empathy, for another coworker, you also develop teamwork, right? Because you can work as a team. Nice, thank you. Another participation? Mm -hmm. No more? No more values? No more values or examples? 
Vale, pero es que lo, no lo han podido hacer de forma verbal o en el micrófono. Pueden hacerlo igual de forma escrita on the, on the chat. You can write your example. You can say, okay, in my company we practice respect. We respect our partners or our colleagues' ideas. Or we treat our partners with respect. We don't offend our partners. Yeah, we show respect when they express their opinions, right? Vaya, van a tener tres minutos. Si quieren escribir algo en el chat acerca de los valles y cómo los aplican. Because not many people practice. Not many people participate on the microphone, so you can participate on the chat too. All right? Or somebody else wants to express on the microphone? I listen to Ricardo. Okay. Uh, in my company, acá mm QRL, -hmm. the two other values, values, uh, values uh, uh, the one is democracy, democracy. Um, uh, it's time to take important decision, uh -huh. all, all give, mm -hmm. give your opinion, mm -hmm. give you your opinion, and the other bubble is este, gender, gender equality, creo que se pronuncia. Gender equality, yes. Gender equality. Uh, is equal opportunities for men or for oh, women? Women. Mm -hmm. Women. It's correct. That's nice. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then we have Laura. So I practice the value of responsibility, being able to deliver my reports on time. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? No more? Seguros que no más? No más participations? For two points. Uh, <laughs> for extra points. <laughs> All right. Well, vamos a dar un par de minutitos más, just in case somebody else wants to give the examples on the chat, on the chat box. Okay, we have two more examples. It says, Miguel, in my company, we practice service to others. When a co-worker needs help, we help, right? And that it says, we practice, uh, my company, I practice functionality when I go to visit procedures on time. Wilmer Edward, I practice trust, honesty, responsibility, service, and respect with my colleagues. Very good. Excellent. Nice. All right. Okay, much better now. Okay, so because of the time, we're going to go on to the next lesson. And on this lesson, you're going to describe how your departments relate to others in the organization. La relación entre el departamento para el que usted labora con los demás departamentos de la empresa, okay? ¿Cómo están relacionados? So what is an organization chart? And why are organization charts important for businesses? Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Aquí de un solo les lanzan como three questions, okay? <laughs> okay. Alguien sabe que es un organization chart? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Any idea? No?
The organization chart son los organigramas de cómo están distribuidos los puestos gerenciales y los y las otras personas que están en cada una de las áreas de la empresa. Bueno, vamos a compartir un poco. Describe how my department relates to others in the organization. So, what is an organization chart? Aquí tienen un example en su manual. Ok. Why? ¿Por qué? Why are organization charts important? ¿Y por qué estos organization charts son importantes para los negocios? Are you familiar? Y si usted está familiarizado con el organization chart de su company, usted conoce quiénes están a cargo de qué áreas. Yes or no. Ok. So, para hacer esa discussion, primero vamos a practicar un poco la conversation. Ok. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need if I need help? Sure. All right, one more time. We have an engineer and we have somebody who's just starting in this company, right? Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Rex is the name of the company. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. La ingeniera encargada de seguridad industrial. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you, she says. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. All right. So we're going to be practicing. Okay. First, let's try to understand what is an organizational chart, right? As I told you, an organization chart. The chart that shows the different managers of different people that are in charge of the different areas in a company. Right. And why are organization charts important to the business? Are you familiar with the organization charts of your company? Yes or no? Mm, like in my case, I know part of the area because I work for a company. In this company has social responsibility, which is a foundation. So SR, I guess, social responsibility. And on this foundation, we belong to a program. So I know part of the organizational chart on this program. But I don't know much about the organizational chart of the, of the whole company. I just know about the area where I work. So probably uh, you have different cases, all right? So let me see. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I'm going to share the screen of this. Uh, yeah, I can share the screenshot of the conversation in case you don't have it. But let's practice the conversation and discuss with your partner if you are familiar with the organization chart of your company. If you know who is the manager of this area, who is the manager of the other area, if you know who is the shift or the general manager of the whole company, and so on and so forth. Let me just make the rooms. Probably can get the same amount, but different people in different rooms. Okay. Let's go.
Hola. Ok, eh, ¿empezamos? Sí. Ok, eh, empezamos. Gracias y Wendy. Bye. Ok. I am Jessica. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Gracia. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks. Gracias. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible, responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the ma maintenance department. Will I be responsible to do? Great. All departments work together. But the maintenance chief is charge is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Gracia. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Continue yo. Con quién? Ah, uh, Wilmer. Okay. ¿Con quién sería? Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red Magica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsa responsible, responsible for keeping the size of the plan. I see. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the planet, of the plant. I see. I will be, I will be the, of the maintain, maintenance department. Well, I be responsible to you. Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Hi, Roxanne. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to to you? Wait, all the department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Bueno, de acuerdo a lo de el, como el organigrama de la empresa. Assemblers, um, ya le digo que. Sí, assemblers es ensambladores. Truck driver. Truck driver es, son como conductores de, de camiones, creo que. Ajá, conductores de camiones, correcto. Truck driver. Y el otro, el safety engineer, es ingeniero de seguridad. No hay alguna duda. Ahí, compañera, con la, con la pronunciación. Solo. Sol, sí. Manager. 
que es, es como jefe de piso. Sí. Floor manager, jefe de piso, safety engineer, es este ingeniero de seguridad, maintenance, chief, el chief era, ya se me olvidó que era chief, el mío. Eh, jefe, ajá, jefe de mantenimiento es entonces el maintenance chief. El supervisor, el supervisor, supervisor, maintenance personal, eh, personal de mantenimiento. Machine, ajá, machine operators son este, operadores de, de máquinas, okay. stimblers, ensambladores y los truck drivers, los conductores de camiones. Perfecto. No sé okay. si. Dígame. No sé, pregunté a la teacher si solamente íbamos a, a, a la conversación. Teacher. Wait. Hi. <laughs> yes. Actually, yes. Practice. Yes. Practice the conversation. Sorry, I think the microphone. Wait a minute, wait. Yes, and discuss if you are familiar with the organization of your, of your company. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. It'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you? It I need help. Sure. Okay. Okay. Empieza Hector con Jessica, así voy yo con Roxana. Okay. Hi Roxana, welcome to Rick. My name is Jessica. I the industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the support of the plan. Of the plan. I see. Well, I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Right. Our department works together. Put the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. Your be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. My I call you if I need help. Sure. Okay. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome. Uh, hi, Roxana. Welcome to Red. My name is Jessica. I am the Industrial Safety Manager. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together, but the maintenance chief in the chair of the direction your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Seguimos. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rich. My name is Jessica. I the industrial Sheffield engineer. Sigo yo. Sí, sí. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the support of the plan. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. I be responsible to you. Great. Our department work together with the maintenance chief and chart of directing your department you'll be responsible to him thank you jessica my i call you if i need help sure okay hi okay. roxana welcome to rex my name is jessica i am the industrial safety engineer Thank Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the state of the plant. I see. I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. All the department work together with the maintenance check in the chair of direct the old plant you will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Eh, comienzo yo. Sí. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. For keeping the safety on the plant. I I see. You will be part of the maintaining department will be responsibly responsible to you. Miss, I have a question. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Maintenance. Maintenance. Wait a minute. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. And maintenance. 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 Ah, pues no estábamos tan mal. <laughs> uh, what do you say? Safety or, or safety? Safety. Con ti. Yes. And what do you say? Responsible is responsible. Yes. Respond. Yeah. Responsible or responsible. Responsible. Mm -hmm. Okay. No sé si alguien más tiene alguna consulta. Um, entonces, el, la palabra es en, quiero ver. MC, o como MC, eh, maintenance. 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 Es como maintenance. M, E, N, algo así. Ajá, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Okay, and eh, um, seguimos eh, con Wendy. Hello. No, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Okay. <laughs>
All right, volunteers. Anyone? Yes. Wilmer? Yes, very good. Wilmer, Wilmer, and Elvin. Yes. So, Wilmer, you're Jessica, and Elvin, you are Roxana. Yeah, but it is in this case, you cannot say hi, Roxana, bro. You can say hi, Elvin. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Ready, Wilmer? Yes. So you okay. start and Elvin is the second person. And then you don't say hi, Jessica. You say hi, Wilmer. Okay. okay. So use your uh, your uh, real names. My, my name? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. One, two, three, go. Okay. Hi, uh, Elvin. Welcome to Rex. My name is Wilmer. I am the industrial safety energy. Energy. Thank you, Wilma. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see a will be plant part of the mansion that department will I be responsible to you. Great. Our department work together. Put the maintenance shift is the charge of direction. Your department, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Wilmer. My, I call you if I need I need help. Sure. Sure. Great. All right. So next, or we choose. Which is names? More participations? Shall we say? Names, names, names. I can try. Gracias. Yes, gracias. You can use your real names, all right? And okay. Deborah. Mm -hmm. So you start Gracia, and Deborah continues. Hi, Deborah. Welcome to Rex. My name is Gracia. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Nice to meet you. My, de my department is responsible for keeping the safety on the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together. But the maintenance chief is in charge of direction of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Gracia. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Nice, very good. All right. Anyone else? Two more. Or which is names? Okay. Let's see. How about Wendy and Karen? I'm here. Okay, Wendy, you okay. start and Karen, you continue. Go. Okay. Uh, Karen, verdad? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Welcome to Rex. My name is Wendy. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Wendy. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I? I be part of the maintenance. I don't know. Maintenance. 
maintenance, okay, department, will I be responsibility to, uh, to you? Great, our departments work together, but the maintenance chef is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Wendy. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Sure. Okay. Nice. Give me one second. I just need to move something right here. So besides practicing the questions, I told you to ask if you are familiar, okay, with the organization charts of your business. Or why are these organization charts important in business? Okay. And if you have any idea what an, an organization chart is, but mainly these two questions. I hope you have had the time to discuss as well. Is there any other question related to the conversation? Do you have any other question? Yes. Mm -hmm. No questions? Sure. All right. Well, let's see one second, please. Yeah, I might show you from here. Of course, they have an organization chart here of the department. The, let's see, different departments, right? They say floor manager, this person, goes to maintenance chief, safety engineer, goes with the supervisor and the machine operators and assemblers. On the other hand, maintenance chief, maintenance personnel, right? Okay, so these are the two areas. The floor manager definitely is the person that is in charge of both areas, okay? of the safety engineer then the supervisor reports to the safety engineer and the supervisor obviously supervises the machine operators the assemblers and the truck drivers and the maintenance ship is just um in charge of the maintenance personnel all right is there any question no sure So, you have some questions about this. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Compare your answers with another pair. Who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plan? Who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? Who is Roxana responsible to? And Look at the organization chart above this organization chart. Who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chiefs responsible to? Okay, so this is something related to what I already explained, okay? One minute, well, a couple of minutes, try to answer these questions. Try to um, come up with an answer and then we compare the answer with a partner because Maybe we understand something, another partner understand something else, and then we complement. Okay.
ta ok à uh, the conversion the crack No, 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 el nombre de la de, de la persona vamos a poner o tenemos que poner algún bueno. que habían cosas que no saben pero sí todavía no hay respuestas ¿Quién de los dos? Uh -huh. Entonces, es... dice, la primera es quién es el responsable Ajá. de mantener la seguridad del personal en la planta. Yo creo que es el safety engineer. Uh, pero quién es el eh, engineer es Jessica o no o Roxana. Jessica. Sí, yes. pero ahí no sé si es el, el nombre o, o, o qué puesto. No, yo creo que es el cargo. ¿Verdad, teacher? Es el cargo, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está la teacher? Teacher. Sí, está aquí, va. Ya, yes, sí. Tell me. Teacher, ¿verdad? Que de answer es, de, es el cargo, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Entonces, no pedimos, es el cargo. Ok, entonces sería. Um, la media es de Safer no, Engine. Entonces sería como. Mine. 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 Personal. Eh, puse que es Roxana. Yes. Sí. En la tres, Roxana. En, no, en la dos. Y who is Roxana dos? responsible to eh, keeping the safe? Porque quiero ver, según la conversación, dice ahí, es ahí. No, eh, si se fija, Jessica dice, Great of the department work to get the board the amount shape in, is in charge of direction. Your department, you will be responsible to him. Entonces, sí, es Roxana. Keep, mm, keeping the safety. Y look at the look at the financial chart about who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to eh, yo puse el floor manager. Ajá, responsable del piso. Uh -huh. En la cuatro. Ajá, en la cuatro. Okay. Solo esas son, ¿verdad? De vuelta a la sí. Okay. Entonces sería la primera, Jessica, la segunda, Roxana. Y who, who is Roxana responsible to? Yo puse keeping the safe. Keeping the safe, ok. I'm going to just keep the safe. Keep the safe. Keep your manager.
Teacher, no sé si estamos en lo correcto con las respuestas de las preguntas. Hello. Hello. No sé si estamos bien con las respuestas de las preguntas. Can you repeat it? Can you repeat the question and the answer, please? Uh, the question one, mm -hmm. who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is Jessica. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Answer, uh, question two, who mm -hmm. is charge of directing of man maintenance? Maintain. Personal. Maintain. Personal. Uh, and where is Roxanne? Um, she is part. Ella va a ser parte del equipo de maintenance, pero la persona a cargo de esa de ese departamento. Jessica. Es Jessica. Mm, no dicen el nombre realmente, solo dicen no. que hay una persona a cargo de chief, de maintenance chief, es como el jefe de esa área. Porque no, dicen la primera. Hi Roxana, welcome to Red. My uh -huh. name is Jessica. I am industrial safety engineer. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department mm -hmm. is responsible for keeping uh, the plan. So I'm the responsible for the safety plan. Uh -huh. the plan uh -huh. Uh -huh. I say we are part the month. Mm -hmm. Gonna ser parte del del departamento. Ella, ella, va, ella va a estar en el departamento de maintenance, pero no va a estar a cargo. Ella es como okay. una, otra, otra persona más, una colaboradora más. Entonces solo lo dejamos como chief. Ajá, maintenance chief. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y the number three, who is Roxana responsible to? Eh, no sé si yo me confundí, pero yo puse keep the safe. Mm. Ella a quién le tiene que, que rendir cuenta. Ay, por eso no uh, es Jessica. responsible por Roxana. Uh, Jessica. Que es la encargada mm. del departamento. No, porque ellos están en diferentes departamentos. Uh, departamento. oh. uh -huh. sí. Roxana realmente va a estar bajo la responsabilidad del Chief of Maintenance. Ay, el, ay, esa persona le tiene que dar cuenta. El floor manager. El floor manager está a cargo de ambas. Uh -huh. De ambas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De ambas áreas, de safety. Sería entonces el supervisor. Ajá, o el, o el Chief Maintenance. O el Maintenance Chief. Okay. Es que responsible for es como estar a cargo de, pero mm -hmm. responsible to es estar bajo el cargo de alguien más. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're going to discuss it. Vamos a aclararlo en la, en la presentación general. Don't worry. Bueno. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces sería Jessica.
All right. Vamos a analizar este organization chart. Okay. First of all, I think we have to have this very clear. Floor manager is a cargo de las dos áreas, ¿verdad? The safety. Yeah, the safety plan and the maintenance department. Obviamente, estas dos personas que están acá a cargo de cada una de las áreas, the safety engineer, le rinde cuentas al floor manager y de la misma forma, the maintenance chief. Obviamente, el safety engineer tiene a cargo también supervisor y machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers. Y el jefe de mantenimiento solo tiene el personal de mantenimiento. Entonces, la primera question is, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Safety engineer. We have the safety engineer, que en este caso es... Jessica. Jessica, because we have the, the chart. Yes, the organization chart, and we have the conversation, so we know who she is. Yeah, so the safety engineer. Then, who is in charge of directing the maintenance personnel? So, ¿quién es el que da las, las instrucciones del personal de maintenance? Sana. Manage. 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 Yes. Manage the chef. Who is in charge of directing? ¿Quién es el que está a cargo de, ajá, de dar las instrucciones? Es el maintenance chief, pero no sabemos cómo se llama. Sí, solo se sabemos llama... que hay una persona a cargo ¿sí? del de departamento de mantenimiento, pero no dice el nombre, no aparece en la conversación, porque Roxana dice, yo voy a ser parte del equipo del departamento de maintenance, pero no dice que va a ser la persona a cargo de, ¿ya? Yeah? So, this would be the maintenance chief, right? Who is in charge of directing the maintenance person? The maintenance chief. And who is Roxana responsible to? Aquí sí, no estamos diciendo que Roxana va a ser responsable por un grupo o va a ser responsable de un grupo de personas, sino a quién ella le tiene que digamos, eh, reportar o informar o hacer este, qué sé yo, las, las consultas en este cargo. O sea, bajo el cargo de quién está Roxana. Y ella misma dice, I'll be part of the maintenance department. So, who is Roxana responsible to? ¿A quién le va a reportar ella? Igual al maintenance chief, porque ella es parte del maintenance personal. So this, this person, que es el jefe del departamento de mantenimiento, es la respuesta de la question two and question three. Responsible for es a cargo de. And responsible to es bajo el cargo de. Yes? Y el último que sería, look at the organizational chart. And who are the safety engineer? And the maintenance chief responsible to. Y ellos dos, ¿a quién reportan? A floor manager. A floor manager. Mm -hmm. Que tampoco tenemos el nombre. Just the, just the position, just the word position, but not the name. The name, we only have Roxana and Jessica who are talking to. Porque eh, Roxana igual le, le pregunta que si está bajo el cargo de, de safety engineer, que en este caso sería... Um, Jessica le dice will I be responsible to you y él dice no o sea nuestros departamentos trabajan juntos but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department you'll be responsible to him so se tiene que reportar a él en este caso creo que será un hombre because it says to him yes answers ya lo respondimos Don, don, don. Bye. Igual, aquí les dan la explanación, la explicación 
de cómo funciona lo de el ING form. O sea, el verbo con ING se llama ING form o gerund form. Usualmente, después de una preposition, como for, to, vamos a utilizar el verbo en ING. How to use the ING form after prepositions, así se llama. Look at the questions in exercise 3 and complete the statements below. Use a verb plus ing after prepositions like for or of in expression as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, be committed to, be dedicated to. Estas expresiones guarden así literalmente en la memoria porque después de esas expresiones, la digamos, la acción que viene después tiene que estar en ING. Por ejemplo, si usted dice en mi empresa, yo soy responsable de. Entonces, esa frase que viene justamente después de responsable de qué, tiene que ir en ING. Dice, I'm responsible for sending the reports. Yes, I'm responsible for evaluating the process. I'm responsible for Mm -hmm. Checking. I'm responsible for analyzing. I'm responsible for. Entonces, cada vez que vamos a decir ser responsable de esto, de esta actividad, de esta acción, pues como ya tenemos el for, que es una preposition, la acción la tenemos que decir en ING. Yes? Or I'm in charge of. Estoy a cargo de. I'm in charge of supervising this area. I'm in charge of attending the customers, right? So these expressions should be memorized. Okay, I'm accountable for, I'm committed to, I'm dedicated to. I'm dedicated to supervising, analyzing, checking, demonstrating, showing. I'm committed to achieving, getting, right? Bye. Y aquí les explican lo que les decía en el ejercicio anterior. To say who you report to, use be responsible to or be accountable to. O sea, para decir a quién usted le reporta, va a usar be responsible to or be accountable to. And to talk about your responsibility, use be responsible for, be in charge of, or be accountable for. Yes? Vaya, pueden escribir una oración usando I am responsible to y a quién le tiene que estar reportar en el chat y después escribir una oración acerca de su responsibility y decir I am in charge of, I am in charge of supervising, I'm in charge of attending, I'm in charge of, por ejemplo, si yo les fuera a decir de lo que yo estoy a cargo, yo diría I'm in charge of planning. The class. I'm in charge of evaluating. I'm in charge of delivering. I'm in charge of explaining. I'm in charge of attending the students, right? And I'm responsible to. Y me digo el nombre de la persona que es mi supervisor o mi, o mi coordinador, right? ¿Se entiende? Dos oraciones. ¿A quién le tienen que reportar? ¿Y de qué están a cargo? I'm waiting on the chat.
All right, we have three examples already. Yes, this is. I'm in charge of troubleshooting systems. I'm in I'm responsible to financial manager. Nice, very good. Miguel Angel. Yes, troubleshooting. Remember that I'm in charge of, after of, ING. Okay. I'm responsible for the administration of the agency. That's okay. I'm in charge of the business. I'm in charge of the business manager. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for the administration of the agency. I'm in charge of the business manager. Oh, um, responsible too. To be okay. All right. So these are the explanations I added responsible for, responsable de algo, de una actividad, de una asignación, de una tarea, de responsable de, de hacer algo, right? Your job or duty to deal with and make decisions relating to it. Responsible to having authority over you. And you have to report to them about what you do in charge of having responsibility. Responsible for and in charge of is parecido, es lo mismo. Solo son dos formas diferentes de decir estoy a cargo de, o soy responsable por tal cosa, o responsable de tal cosa. Accountable for, responsible for something or someone. Okay, so estos dos también son the same. I'm responsible to the floor manager. I'm responsible to the coordinator. I'm accountable for the coordinator, right? Practically, aquí a la persona a quien le tienen que reportar es lo que van a decir. Yep, ya sea el nombre o la job position. Then the organization will chart is a diagram representing the management structure of the company, showing the responsibilities of each department, the relationship of the department to each other, and the hierarchy of management. Esa es la jerarquía, literalmente. Cómo están distribuidos los... En orden de jerarquía, ¿verdad? Los puestos gerenciales y departamentos. More examples. Tenemos acá de parte de Laura. I'm responsible for accounting verification in the accounts of two agencies and I report to my supervisor and general accountant. Very good. Uh, Ricardo says I'm responsible for the transfer and pounds for the entire company. And I report to financial manager. Great. Uh, I'm in charge of customer service. Okay. And Jocelyn, I'm at the uh at the end of the day, I'm in charge of collecting. Like you see, in charge of como of es una preposición, eh, justamente después de esta expresión se va a utilizar un, un verbo, tiene que ir en ING. I'm in charge of collecting the bills, all the bills that the customers have paid and collecting the taxes or documents, payments, and send them to the company responsible for that. Okay, Karen, I'm responsible of I'm responsible for making, oh no, sorry. I'm responsible to marketing the manager and I'm in charge of advertising of my work and answer messages. I'm in charge of advertising of my work and answering messages. I know it answering in ING. Like that. I'm responsible for supervising the accounting area personnel who perform the accounting functions. Uh huh, and I report to my immediate boss, the general accountant. Very good, nice. Okay, okay. Vaya muy bien, todavía nos queda. I report to the collection area. Great. Mm, este era el ejercicio anterior que hacíamos de Roxana y de la otra chica. Mm -hmm. 
tenemos es el, el diagram que teníamos. I'm still reading the examples. It says, Paula, I'm responsible for the administration of the clinic and report to the general manager. I'm responsible for ensuring that the procedures are successful in their production. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Este sería un diagram un poquito más extenso de otra company. General manager, auditor, quality control inspector, floor manager, financial department, computer department, and sales department. And the floor manager is charge of this. Es un poquito más arriba, ¿verdad? Ya no es un poquito más arriba en la jerarquía. Floor manager, safety engineer, maintenance chief, maintenance personnel, y todos los que ya habíamos visto. All right. Because of the time. Vamos a ver. Va. Vamos a hacer el attendance, attendance, attendance. Y let's continue tomorrow. Cristina, Ana Cristina, no se conectó ¿verdad? al final. Brian, sigue working. David Miguel, no lo no he visto por acá. Débora. Ya se nos fue Débora. Gone. Present. Ah. <laughs> Gone with the wind. <laughs> okay, Doris. Entonces estuvo Doris. Oh, David. Yo veo a David por ahí, pero no sé qué pasó. Doris, Doris. No, Doris. Not today. La foto del child no estuvo ahora. Elvin. Listen, Miss. Hi. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Present. Goodbye. Goodbye. Imelda. Good night. Good night. Ivan. Present teacher. Bye. Joanna. No, he's a Joanna. Oh my God. Jocelyn, Karina. Karen. Present. Hi. <laughs> Present. Hi. Okay, Kevin. Está Kevin. Laura. Laura, Laura. Pre Present, present. All right. María Irma. No problem. Present, teacher. I see you. See you tomorrow. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher, good night. Nelson, good night. All right, Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Great. Ricardo Mauricio. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy Geraldina. Present teacher. Hi. And Wilmer. Present teacher, good evening. All right, good night. See you tomorrow. Bueno, por regla, le corresponde a David, David Miguel. La sesión de One One, David, ¿va a poder participar? O escríbanos en el chat. Please. Bueno, no hay respuesta de David. Escobar. Ok, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Thank you.